working uh, with kids uh, that are quickly running out of options, you know. The point for me, if I break it down as simply as I possibly can, is we must keep the kids alive. Without that, you can't do anything else. We've got to keep them out of jail, and then we chase hopes and dreams. I got told I was supposed to be dead or in jail before 18. Yeah, well, I'm going to be 23 in June and employed now, and I never thought I'd be sitting here. Never really had someone cheering for me. And I've just been put on an agriculture traineeship, so... Looks like I'm going to be going somewhere. It's the value of seeing young people grow up that are really having it hard uh, and come out the other end. Uh, one of our fundamental things at Backtrack is you can't get kicked out of Backtrack. That's the first thing a kid hears when he comes through the door. Why? Because he's been kicked out of school, he's been kicked out of the shopping centre, he may have been kicked out of home, they're kicked out of everything. So we can't start there. Well, first I was just like on the drugs, but my head wasn't in the right space and that. And now I've just like put that in the past and I'm moving on and backtrack for well, the family. So my family that actually wants me around and that is helping me move along into my future. We're a difficult organisation to fit into government funding and it's because we tackle things in a holistic nature. If we were just getting our money from the education department uh, but the kid doesn't have somewhere safe to sleep at night, don't worry about education, it makes no sense. You have to tackle what the issue is, you know. And we identified a gap in our funding system, which was we were getting flooded with these kids that wanted to do this ag lads thing. Now we're seeing benefits when these kids are going out into the agricultural field. We've got 20 of them employed, and it's directly because of that training and teaching them chainsaw certificates and hanging in and not kicking them out of the program. Uh, all those things combined uh, that are very difficult to write into a, a normal kind of a grant uh, is exactly where the, the greatest help was. A lot of organisations can, can contribute a, a financial component to Backtrack, but there are other things that, that these organisations need, you know, just manpower, people power, time, explanations, understandings that we can often, we're quite happy to do our part. Come in as a BT Works to help the boys in the program. And a lot of them don't know what they're capable of until you give them the chance. And once they've had that chance and have seen what it's about, they just excel. Every time I see a kid, it's going somewhere that society had given up on and said, you know what, just don't worry, lock them up, throw away the keys. Every time I see one of those kids down the street and, and going to work and hopping into his car, pushing a pram and the way they treat people, I tell you what, when you see that day, you know you've done it. When you see people come out the other end with, with real prospects for their future, uh, it, it, it's emboldening and it's, it gives you a lot of pride to, to have known those people and known where they've come from and what they've done. Particularly in our community, the, the benefits are evident. I mean, you can look at figures, you can look at stats, you can look at reports, you can look at whatever you want, uh, but you can really see it uh, in the kids that are supported by Backtrack. It's given me a job and it's helped me a lot with my anger issues. I used to be a real angry person. To the teacher just to like own your own actions and you know the consequences and stuff to come with it and that. Describe Backtrack in a word. Mm, it's really just family, one big family we are. I don't know how to say it but like your heart like feels that it's loved if you get what I mean so you always have someone that you can always talk to. Of course it makes me feel proud that they are like your kids if you work with someone for six years and you walk through the toughest stuff in the world and you get them out the other side. Sure, it makes you proud, but it's not enough. Uh, we're talking about almost a quarter of the kids in Australia. It's not good enough just to do it here in Armadale. The dream is to help as many kids having a hard time as we possibly can.